CareDX Incorporated. The truth comes to light. Q3 2021 Company Report SEC and DOJ Investigations. Three collective price changes with stock dropping $27.99 or more than 53% loss. Investors, did you purchase or otherwise acquire Care DX common stock between February 24, 2021, and May 5, 2022? The Gross Law Firm announces that a securities fraud class action lawsuit has been filed against Care DX Incorporated, ticker symbol CDNA. Did you lose money by investing in CDNA? And are you aware that you may recover your losses with no out-of-pocket costs? The Gross Law Firm represents shareholders who were victims of securities fraud. Investors have until July 22, 2022 to join the lawsuit as a lead plaintiff. Contact the Gross Law Firm to inquire about your recovery opportunities. What is the CDNA lawsuit about? The complaint filed against CareDX alleges that the company violated federal securities laws by making false and or misleading statements and or failing to disclose that. 1. Defendants had engaged in a variety of improper and illegal schemes to inflate testing services revenue and demand, including pushing a surveillance protocol through inaccurate marketing materials, offering extravagant inducements or kickbacks to physicians and other providers, and improperly bundling expensive testing services with other blood tests as part of the company's remote track service for remote, home-based, blood drawing. 2. These practices, and others, subjected Care DX to an undisclosed risk of regulatory scrutiny. 3. These practices rendered the company's testing services revenue reported throughout the class period artificially inflated. 4. As a result, Defendants' positive statements about the company's business, operations, and prospects were materially false and misleading and or lacked a reasonable basis at all relevant times. To get information about your rights, submit your details as an investor before the July 22, 2022 deadline. The Gross Law Firm is ready to help you recoup your losses. Subscribe to our channel to never miss another shareholder announcement.